Hey, what's going on, everybody? Sportsball 3 here. Coming at you with Reveal the Shield Bumblebee. Yes, finally got him. And I figured I'd share him with you guys. And here he is. Bumblebee. Yay. Not a bad looking, not a bad looking mold for Bumblebee. I cannot complain. There's really not too many things wrong with this guy that I can see. I got lucky. Just a little bit of paint shipping, and I like... I like the way he looks. It cool. comes with this cool little trailer here with a little jet ski on there. So that's kind of nice. I like the way that looks. Nice uh, silver and chrome in there. and Yeah, well done on that. I kind of like it. And um, oop, that comes right off there. Never, never paid attention to that before. I'll go ahead and clip that right back on. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. I like that. And then you got Bumblebee himself. Let's see. There's the front. You can see the nice silver uh, little grill there. I wish they would have did a little something right here on the bottom, but oh well. And then, of course, it's got the, the green headlights, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, they definitely did a good job with this one here. Not bad at all. And then you got the red back here. Yep, not bad. I like it. There's the underside. You can see his arms there, but it doesn't really matter that much. Because you're not really looking from underneath. You're looking from the top and the side. So it doesn't matter what's going on under there. And then there's the top. There's the rub sign. Let's see if we can get that to work. Oh, well. Yeah, kind of. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. But it's there. It works. So yeah, this is a little bit of bad chipping right there. Along that crack right there. You can see that. Yeah, that, that's eh, that kind of sucks, but what can you do? But other than that, everything else seems to uh, be nice and crisp. And uh, you notice a lot of some of the other uh, bumblebees they gave them like uh, a license plate or whatever. I thought about maybe getting a rep repro label or something and, and putting putting it there, and making it look a little more uh, realistic. And you can see bumblebees head through there. And <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, tear this guy apart. We'll get him transformed. So you just pop the arms apart, just like so, and then fold them in. Just like that and like that and then once you got them in there like that next thing you want to do is you can pull this whole section up and then pull the legs apart spin them around and then kind of like a simple automorph thing it's kind of cool just bam and then the chins and everything come right up with it it's got some Big old clod hopping feet there. Check that out. Oh my goodness. And then you can fold them down a little bit. And then there's the feet. Then basically pull this section, in. this uh, top part here, where it got his chest nice and tight. Just pull that down. Everything kind of clips there. Let me move the camera up a little bit. And then just pull the head down here, just like that, and that reveals his face. There we go. Yeah, pretty much a simple transformation, not much to it, not really a whole lot going on. And then you can take these arms here, fold these, these like these shields, these doors around, and they clip right in here. If you look right there. See that hole? Yeah, you spin these right around. It's like that. And then you'll see uh, we can just spin this right in the place. And then it just pegs right in. It's like that. And then you have his arms. 
then there's Bumblebee. I'll give you a close up of his face. So yeah, a really good likeness. I definitely can appreciate this Bumblebee. Um, some of the other ones they've come out with are kind of iffy, and they all just look re very repetitive. Like you know, all the ones from Revenge of the Fallen and you know whatnot. They all they're all repetitive. But this one's definitely a winner. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this guy. It's got some nice detail there on the uh, what used to be the seats or the, the seat backings. But yeah, not uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then you have his well, one more thing. You want to spin these around to get them just right. And then, because you want to keep these tires tucked to the back. It's like that. So you want to spin right here keep that to keep that tire from sticking out so that oh that's better yeah definitely a classic bumblebee if there ever was one and then with this here you basically just pull this apart like so and then you can see this here just like so and then what you want to do is just spin these forward here it's like that and get it lined up a little bit and then the back here this serves as like a oops serves as like a clip and then you just slide that just like so and clips it right onto the back there and now he's got his little jetpack thing, which is just perfect. I mean, it makes him look so freaking badass. Definitely a nice representation of Bumblebee, I might say. Just uh, the big feet, though. That's the only little bummer, but it still looks cool. I mean, you definitely can't go wrong with this Bumblebee. And um, we'll bring in uh, Reveal the Shield. Uh, jazz or a comparison so you can get the size so you can see it's a little bit shorter and it, it works well too especially uh, with jazz I'm definitely um, a little bit taller there and uh, it's a good ratio so that's why I use Jazz. Well, there you go, everybody. There's Bumblebee. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And um, stay tuned for uh, future reviews. Take it easy.